we currently display all posts in one page, and this isn't good practice. So we'll fix this by using pagination. We'll also change some parts with still using static HTML, such as auto name and post date. For category and number of commands, we'll do it later. Okay, let's go back to our editor, and before we change this part, let's open the post model. We'll make relationship to user model. Let's create a function, for example, order. You could certainly use another name such as user or any other name, because a post belonging to a user. So here we call this belongs to and pass the model to be related. Then let's open the user model. And here we create a new method called posts. Once again, I say that the name of this method can be anything. But for the sake of simplicity, I name it with related model. Because the relationship model is has many relationship, that means a user can has one or many posts. So we can make in plural. Here we just return this has many and pass the model to be related which is post model. And I realize I made a mistake in post model. It should not use app because both model has same namespace. All right, let's go back to index blend PSP file. And here we just call post other name. Let's see in our browser. Okay, now the name of the other has changes. But here we are using a method called lazy loading. The simple way, but it raises n plus 1 problem. So let's go back to block controller and here let's debug our query. Back to our browser and refresh. As you can see here, there are 11 query execution. One query to display all posts. In this case, I have 10 posts. And the rest query are a query to each single order of the posts. So here, let's call the with method and pass the relationship. In this case, other. Let's try again. And I got error. Anyway, since we are using with method, we could not using the all method. Instead, we call get. Back to the browser and refresh. Okay, now only two queries being executed. The last query have executed to select other. If you notice, this query using in operator. Okay, I think it's good. Let's remove again the query log. Now let's change this static date. Back to our editor. Jump to index blade PSP file. And here let's change it to post created. Back to browser and refresh. Okay, now the date is changes in format years, month, date, and hour. Eloquent treats created and updated it as object of Carbon class, so we can take advantage of the function provided by Carbon API. You can go to Carbon official documentation for more detailed information. Here are called diff for humans method. Now let's see. It's look better. Six days ago, five days ago, and so on. Okay, before we continue, let's tidy up our code. I think we have to make our presentation as simple as possible. So let's cut and change it with, for example, date. Then let's open the post model 
and create new accessor for the date attribute. Here we paste the preceding code. Make sure our application still work. Okay, great. Next, let's display the most recent first. Back to block controller, and here let's call ordered by method. Pass the column name, in this case is credit, followed by shorting direction which is the scanning. In the context of the date, it means display most recent post first. Let's see. Okay, now our latest post display on top. Moreover here, we find some feature posts. This post certainly not to be shown, but it's okay for now. Another way to display recent date that Laravel provides is latest method. It's an alias from the method we used earlier, and if we see, we get same result. Another way is that we can create a scope. By using the scope, our query in controller is more slim. For example, we call latest for scope and we'll put the shorting method in the scope. Let's open the post model. Then here, let's define a new scope. To create a scope, we start with scope, followed by name of the scope that we will create. In the scope here, we return this followed by order by method. Don't forget to save all changes. Let's see we got same result. Lastly, let's paginate our blog index page. Here, let's change the get with paginate method and specify how much data to be displayed per page. For example, three posts per page. Let's see. Okay, now it displayed only three posts, but for pagination link, it's still static HTML. So let's change that. Let's go back to our editor, jump to index blade PSP file, and here let's change this static navigation with posts links. Let's try again. Okay, now our page is link appear and also work perfectly. Although it's different with our template, we can make it too similar to the template. We can change it to call Simple paginate method instead. It will consist of two buttons, previous and next button. You might be changed the number of the post per page with another number someday. So, to make it easier, just replace it with this limit, and here we define the limit attribute with value 3. In this way, we just change the value with other number without drill down each line of code. Our job displaying the post hasn't been completed because currently we're still displaying some future posts. We'll finish it in the next video.